What's up boys and girls? Today we'll be drawing Charmander from Pokemon. Feel free to draw along and pause the video whenever you like to catch up with me. Let's take a look at the materials we need for this drawing. You're going to need a pencil, a black marker, an eraser, and some crayons. Let's look at the colors. So, I picked out the blue for the eyes, and I picked out a pink and the purple for the tongue. Here we have a yellow for the tummy and a tannish orange for the body. We'll be using the yellowish brown for the darker shade of the tummy and the darker brown for the shade of the tannish yellow. We'll also be using this yellow combined with this red here for the flame on the back. Okay, now let's take a look at the shapes and form that we can use to help us create Charmander. So take a look at the reference here. We can start with an oval for Charmander's head. We need to draw my cross here. Okay, and I'm going to bump out cheeks on the side, okay, to make the face. And then the body, it's like an egg-shaped oval, see, like that. The arms are oval as well, one oval, two oval, but they're almost like half round. See how this curve right here? and then this line right here is straight. So I will probably use like a half round. It's like a slice of orange or watermelon. See that? I'll use a half round for the arm. And then the legs, I see an oval here. Okay, see another oval here. Okay, and then it comes up to become the feet right here. And the feet right here. See, that oval, let's come down. The feet, and this oval is under that feet. And then we we'll draw the curves in there for the tail, some random flames, kind of resembles that shape, and we should have char charm in there. Okay? Let's take a look at the lighting. So we see that the shadow is here. We have shadow here, 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 some highlights here, some highlight here, and here. Okay? So I know the direction lighting is coming from, it's on top left. So that's going to help us when we add in the shadow, put in the shadows, okay? Now let's start drawing. We'll grab a blank piece of paper. Okay, so we're going to mark the left and the right, top and the bottom. Let's take a look. Yeah? Then we got it <laughs> pretty close. Okay. So if you're not like if you're like me, you're you're not very good at drawing perfect circle or no oval. Draw the four corners first, and the other four corners, and then now I'm connecting the lines. Okay. Now you have a very nice oval. Okay. I'm going to put in the cross on my face. Okay, which will tell us about general direction. The head is facing, and also give us that spherical shape. So let's draw. Okay? So next, you're going to bump out the cheeks on the left and right. Okay, the left. So notice that the cheek, I bump it out a little bit more on the left and the right because he's turning, the face is turning a little bit sideways like that. Okay? So. Let's add in the eyes. Okay, I'm going to put in the mouth while we're at it. Okay, 
So you might ask me why did I choose to go into like uh, instead of continuing the body, just add in the start adding the facial features on the face because I feel like that's gonna give me a more accurate a reference when I draw the body, okay? So define the shapes on the head a little bit more. Okay, so now I have that. I'm going to start drawing the body. So first let's put in this egg shape here. And I'm going to use my pencil and see that the length of the head is about the length of the body. So I'm going to do that as well. So it's going to be about right here. Okay, I have this egg shape in here. Now I'm gonna put in where my arms needs to be, which is on the left and right, and drawing this like slice of orange kind of shape. Okay. Now the legs. I'm gonna add one leg right here and another leg right here. Okay, feet. You can almost imagine the feet. You got like a sponge shape. See that? And then we can imagine this feet. This foot right here is another sponge shape. Okay? So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, now the tail. I'm going to, to aim the tail up a little bit more because I don't want it to run into the edge of the corner of the paper. Body, okay. And the flame kind of does not do perfect. It's flame. Okay, don't stress out about it. Okay, all right, now let's refine our line work a little bit so to get it ready for uh, the marker. Okay, so I'm gonna start going in here and look at which line I like. So when you're drawing, think of your line as many different little lines put together. So when so what they are, they're a bunch of tiny little lines, okay, drawn in the right positions to make up the, an illusion of a longer line. Okay, so you almost always never, when I'm sketching, draw a super long line, one take, that's good. You know, my lines are always broken up into tiny little lines.
And I always like to start drawing. Start my drawing very light, as light as I can. As long as I can see it, then that's dark enough. Why? Because in the beginning, I'm not sure which, which line I like, which line I'm for sure is going to stay there. But as I keep drawing, slowly I know for sure, oh, this line is good, that line is good, that line is exactly where I need to be. So you'll notice that I don't use eraser a lot. The main, main reason is because I don't need to, because I draw very lightly. So I don't need to constantly have to grab my eraser, they erase the lines that are not accurate for the lines that I don't like, just because I draw lightly. Now when drawing these nails, they're cone shape, so I draw the base first. Okay. Again, I'm going to draw the base of the cones. Just draw the knee. Trying to get that shape in there. Okay, now we have the basic line work of chart render. That let's grab our marker and start tracing it. tracing, don't forget that you can rotate the paper. And your lines doesn't always have to be one continuous line. Push down harder, your lines are going to be thinner. I mean, your lines are going to be thicker. When you push down lighter, your lines are going to be thinner. So I'm going to actually color in the irises. Because I think put charm into this will work and uh, it's gonna feel like the eyes are very very deep It's a good habit to trace always from top to bottom, then left to right. So that if your marker doesn't dry as fast, you won't smear the, the line with. And a lot of times, your hand might be in the way, or it's too dark to see. If you rotate the paper, you'll be able to see better.
Okay, so now we have the basic lining work of Charmander complete. Uh, I'll trace with marker. I'm going to grab my eraser and start erasing the pencil lines that we can still see. Guess we don't need them anymore. And after you finish erasing the pencil lines, you should end up with very clean outlines to color in. Okay. I'm going to grab my roller and have my drawing. Okay, now I can start coloring. Let's take a look. I like to start with like a small or lighter area first. So, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my pink and start coloring in the mouth. Okay, and then grab my purple, start making shadow for the mouth. This is such a small area, so I think it's okay. Just try to get right into the shadow. And now I'm going to grab the dark brown. Let's go over again the deeper part of it. Deepest part right here. Nice. And then we wrap the blue. Color in the eyes. Okay, see we see a little bit of reflection here and there. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. I'm going to work on this tail flame a little bit. Grab my yellow, put in some yellow here and there. And then I'm just going to lightly color the entire flame with yellow because I like how it looks when you have like some yellow and some red in the color. Let me show you. So this is my red. So you can still see a little bit of yellow in the red. That's what I like. Okay. And now let's move on to the tummy. And do a very light coat of yellow. So my color, try it as much as I can follow the form or shape of the area I'm coloring in. So I just need a light layer of this golden yellow here. Very light. That's good. And then I'm going to grab my yellowish brown and add a very light layer on top of the yellow. That's where my shadow starts. There you go. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to work on the overall body. But before I do that, I'm going to grab my blue and just kind of add in the shadow with the toenails. Just a little bit. That's done with. Okay, so. Now let's grab our tennis orange. So laying down this color, color for Charmander. So 
So the overall goal when laying down coats of colors is to try to color as evenly as you can. And for your first coat, never go too dark. Especially when you're doing like mid tones or shadows. I mean, especially when you do mid tones and highlights. When you do the shadows, sometimes you do want to push down a bit harder. So if we look at here on our sample here, we our reference here, we have three areas of highlights. I accidentally missed the one on the head, but I'm actually going to leave these two highlights white. Okay, so, because the clear color is lighter than digital coloring or marker coloring. So, the highlights are just going to leave it white. So, they'll read as a spot of highlight. Okay, now I'm going to grab my dark brown and start going over the shadows. So let's take a look at where all our shadows are. So we got some shadow right here. A little bit right here. It comes down around the mouth like that. And this part right here. comes around. Okay, so the lake right here, and the lake right here. Oh, forgot to color the tail. So let's grab that orange again and color in the tail real quick. Okay, so Let's do that. Starting in the shadows and the tail. Okay. okay. More space to work with. Okay. So a nice form shadow. So for for these shadows on the lake, that form shadows, it follows the form when you have form shadow. Now you also have cast shadow. So if we look at shadow on the head, it's also form shadow. But when we get to the area that's under the chin, it becomes cast shadow. Because that, ca that part of shadow is, it doesn't follow the form. It act actually cast it from an object above or around it. See, this part I'm coming right now is the cast shadow from the chin. All right, now I'm going to grab my sticky roller, clean up the drawing a little bit, and then I'm going to go over it with the marker again to make some of the outlines darker, okay? So this is a technique that I like to do to pop out my character off the page. If you don't like the look of it, you can skip this step. At the end of the day, it's your drawing. You're in charge. Okay.
All right. And here we have Charmander from Pokemon. Hope you guys enjoyed this session of drawing. Let me know in the comments below what would you like to draw next. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.